So now I am on Pixel Studio, but this can work on layout, pixel and vector. So the first thing we need to do is to create a new fill layer. So go to Pixel and then select new fill layer. And now I'm going to change the color to white. And now let's select the move tool. And now we need to rasterize this layer here. So go to Pixel, rasterize, and then select rasterize. And now I'm going to add the guide. So go to view and then guides. I'm going to add the 50% horizontal guide. So I'm just going to left click here to add the guide. So here it is 50%. So now let's exit. So now let's select the selection tool. So left click here, select the rectangle marquee tool, left click. And now I'm going to make selection. So as you can see, it snaps to the guides here. Make sure the snapping is checked and the snap to guides here is checked. So now we're going to fill this selection with another color. So I'm going to left click here and then select the flood fill tool. So I'm going to select, for example, this blue here and then left click. So I think here I'm OK. So I will leave it to this color here. So now we need to remove selection, go to pixel selection and then deselect. And then I'm going to remove the guide since we don't need it anymore. So go to view guides and then click remove all guides and then close and now select the artistic text tool left click select artistic text tool left click and now type your text Control a to select all text i'm going to change the size to 350 press enter and then i'm going to change the font to anton so i'm going to change it to 400 press enter and now let's select the move tool and now let's center it and now I'm going to duplicate the background layer here, this one here. So right click and then duplicate. And now I'm going to flip the colors here of this layer so that the blue color is in the bottom part and the white is in the top. So right click on it, make sure to select the move tool. Right click on it, transform and then select flip vertical. So here it is. Now if I had this layer here, we have two layers, two opposite layers. So now let's reveal it. Now select the text layer, the colors, and then I'm just going to drag it on top here of the background layer, the one we just flipped. Make sure to drag it on top. As you can see, you can see the preview, not on the right, on the text, on the image here of the background. So here it is. And now, for example, while selecting the clipping mask here, you can change the text, the font or the size. So for example, let's say I'm going to select artistic text tool, double click. So let's say I'm going to change it to split. So I can, for example, control A. I'm going to change the font here to ball pins. I'm going to change it to bold. And let's change the size to 450. So now let's select the move tool. I'm going to adjust it. So if you want to add styling to the text, you need to select this one here, the layer group here, the image layer, not the mask, not the clipping mask. Select this one here. As you can see, it selected everything. If I select the clipping mask, it will select only this one here. There is the blue outline. If I select the layer with the mask, so here it is. It highlights all the layer. Now left click on the layer effects here, the FX. And now let's say, for example, I'm going to add the bevel. I'm going to add, for example, an outline, left click on the outline. So I'm going to increase a little bit. So here like this. So I'm just going to leave these filters here. So here it is. And now even with these filters, you can still change the text. Let's select the clipping mask, select clipping mask. This one here, black and white. Let's select the artistic text, double click. And now, for example, let's change it back to colors. So now the text is too big, control A. Let's bring it back to, let's say, 380, press enter. And now let's select the move tool. And now let's center it again. 